Welcome to the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, episode number 174. Skills are cheap. Passion is priceless. Gary Vanderchuk. Broadcasting from the back alley in Hollywood, it's the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, where we show you how to survive and thrive as an indie filmmaker in the jungles of the film biz. And here's your host, Alex Ferrari. Welcome, my indie film hustlers, to another episode of the Indie Film Hustle Podcast. I am your humble host, Alex Ferrari. Today's show is sponsored by Film Convert. Film Convert, I used heavily on creating the cinematic look I got on my film, This Is Meg. It helps you give your digital video footage a beautiful cinematic look of film instantly. Whether you're shooting on a GoPro, a DSLR, a RED, an Alexa, a Black Magic, it doesn't matter. Film Convert has created specific camera profiles for every, almost every camera on the planet so it can adjust to your footage. Film Convert gives you the power to create amazing looking cinematic images with just a couple clicks. And of course, because you guys are part of the Indie Film Hustle tribe, you get 10% off Film Convert by using the coupon code HUSTLE. First off, guys, I want to thank you so much for all the support. Everyone who went out and bought This Is Meg on iTunes, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the great reviews you guys have been giving the film. Uh, Again, it's just been a huge experiment to see what happened all the way through from the beginning all the way to the end. So as numbers keep coming in, I'll keep updating you guys in the uh, weeks and months to come. And uh, also, uh, as a special treat for all the podcast listeners, I'm not letting this out yet publicly, but publicly through the podcast, but This Is Meg is also currently available on Amazon, and it's Amazon US and UK. And it's not available in Canada because, you know, you guys want ratings, and we don't, we're unrated, baby. So, uh, but we also are going to be releasing it because I've been getting a lot of emails and messages about uh, how about South Africa, how about New Zealand, how about Canada, how about Australia. So all the tribe members who cannot get access to This Is Meg currently through iTunes or through Amazon, we will be uploading it to Vimeo Pro. And anybody in the world with a credit card should be able to watch it on Vimeo Pro. And we will be releasing it to other platforms in the weeks and months to come. And there's a bunch of other stuff we're doing as well. Uh, Dish Network, we're cutting a deal with Dish Network as well, uh, going out uh, probably in the fall, late fall uh, or early winter sometime. So we'll see about that. But there's other areas that we're going to be putting out Meg. So Meg will be everywhere and you guys will be able to see it. So thank you again so much. And if you haven't seen it yet, just head over to thisismeg.com forward slash iTunes. Or you can search Amazon and just type in This Is Meg. And guys, I have been working so hard. Sorry, the podcast is a little late this week because I have been just killing myself redesigning the Indie Film Hustle website from the ground up. Everything is going to be new. I'm making it easier for everybody to find content. There's going to be a bunch of new stuff out there. Uh, Just organized better, optimized for your experience uh, to find the information you need. And uh, just cleaning things up a bit. So it's I, I am so excited and I cannot wait for you guys to see the new uh, Indie Film Hustle 2.0. It has been two years since I designed the original website. So I think it's time for an update. And it's going to be bigger and better than ever for you guys. So I cannot wait to release that. But we're, we're I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I'm doing it all by myself. So it takes a little time to do. Uh, and then I got a bunch of other stuff in the in the cooker as well. So just stay tuned. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So today's show, I wanted to give you a sneak peek at the Hollywood directing masterclass course that we released with Gil Beckman. And it is a game changing course. And I wanted to give you uh, one of the lessons for free so you guys could listen to it and just see what kind of cool stuff Gil does. I mean, I mean, I've been directing for 20 years And, you know, when I watched this course and took this course, Gil gave me all sorts of ideas that I just did not have before. And it's one of the best rated filmmaking courses on Udemy right now. And without any further ado, here is a lesson on how to amp up your static shots just by using lenses. And you know how much I love my lenses. So it's it's kind of a, a little masterclass on lensmanship as he calls it. And uh, enjoy, guys. I think you guys are going to get a lot out of it. 
the different lenses lend themselves to, to different kinds of shots, okay? So um, in t when you're talking about field of vision and depth of field, all right, the, what, what, uh, with a wide angle lens, you've got, you can see, you know, the world, the entire world, okay? So what would be a good shot to do with a wide angle lens? A big, a big shot. Master. Pardon? Big master. A big master. Okay, but but specifically, what's what subject? Do you kind of? The city, or a, if you want to do a city, or a city, or, a city or even if you want to do a shot in, in, a, in a bathroom, you want to get the entire bathroom. Yeah. All right. But but but, but that's a little atypical. But but basically, with a, with a wide angle lens, when you're talking about if if it's big, and you want to see all of it, right? use a wide angle lens. To, basically, it's your establishing lens because you see all of it and it's all in focus. So a big room or a, typically a big room or a big stadium, right? Um, all right, this is, this is the thing about a normal room will look the true size, not with a 50 millimeter lens, but with a, um, but with a wide angle, okay? Because of the field of, the field of vision property. The telephotos, are good for something which is like if, if you if you have one thing and you want to it, you want it to fill the frame and and to be that which is like the, an isolate if you want to isolate something in a frame like this shot of a butterfly okay this is a good application of a telephoto lens right because you see only this one thing because of the narrow field of vision Right, and because of the narrow depth of field, only the butterfly is in focus. Everything else is, is soft. This is the Brooklyn Bridge with a wide-angle lens, and you see all of the bridge and much of the Manhattan skyline behind it. Okay, so if it's big and you want to see all of it, use the wide-angle lens because of the wide-angle lens's ability to show you great field of vision and great depth of field. Okay, that clear? Um, now, if you're talking about applications of lenses um, in, terms of, um, in terms of perspective, okay, the way, that, the, the way that perspective changes the way that things look, with a wide angle lens, it makes objects look bigger or more or bulkier or more bulbous, more round. Right? I mean, for a perfect example, if, if, if you had a beautiful Greek column, if this was a Greek column, all right, of the Parthenon, and I shot it with a wide angle lens at this height, with a 9.5 lens, okay, what would it look like? Exactly. Angela's got it. It would, be, it would taper to the top, taper to the bottom, and be fat in the middle. Is that aesthetically pleasing? No, because it's made, what, what is graceful has been made bulky and bulbous, okay? But some things look good, bulky and bulbous. What can you think of which looks big, good if it's big and fat and juicy? A burger. A burger. A, a burger is closer to it. Yeah. All right, a burger looks good, big, fat, and juicy. What else besides a burger? Food. What other piece of food? Apple. Ice cream. Ice cream or? An apple. An apple or a tomato, right? Or a car. For some weird reason, cars look nice when they're big and curvy, kind of like girls. I don't know. Like a big, is, big is not right, but curvy, the distortion of a car you know, the lines of a car made curvy by the distortion of the wide angle lens, this, this distortion here, the extreme wide angle, looks good. Okay, that's the way the perspective alters the way that things look. Now, with telephoto, it's the opposite. Okay, with, with the extreme telephoto, extreme long lenses, you, you get things look, looking thinner. Okay, what looks better thinner? If you're shooting a close-up on your leading lady, what lens are you going to use? 35? No. no. 100. I can't speak high, more highly about this course. I mean, it's such a great uh, course on directing and specifically how to move the camera, how to get good action sequences, how to tell a story visually.
We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. And now back to the show. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a unique course because there is not much of anything like this out online and it's so well put together and Gil is a, you know, just a amazing instructor. So I definitely advise you guys to go out there and check it out. Just head over to IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash directing 19. That's IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash directing 19 and that'll give you the course for 19 bucks. And normally the course sells for 200 so Definitely check it out, guys. And I wanted to let everybody know in the Los Angeles area that This Is Meg is going to have its L.A. premiere at Holly Shorts. It's going to be the closing night feature film, and it's going to play at the Chinese Theater, the world-famous Chinese Theater. I cannot tell you how excited I am and Jill is, and we're just so blessed and, and just so grateful that we're going to be playing at the Chinese Theater, a little movie that we made last year. And it's going to be L.A. premiering there. It's it's such a big deal. So if you guys want tickets, just go to the show notes at IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash 174. And you'll get links there with discount uh, discount codes for tickets. And it's going to be playing August 19th at 8 p.m. And I'll be there. The whole cast will be there. It's going to be amazing. And we we'll probably go out and get drinks afterwards. It'll be a lot of fun. So definitely check it out, guys. I hope I can see you guys there. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. And as always, keep that hustle going, keep that dream alive, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Indie Film Hustle podcast at IndieFilmHustle.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-F-I-L-M-H-U-S-T-L-E.com.